What is going on everybody? This is Football Exclusive and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be ranking the SEC quarterbacks. Um, this is all my opinion and if you disagree feel free to comment down below your thought. There might be some that you feel that shouldn't be there so again feel free to comment down below. And I'm going to go ahead and kick things off with Kentucky, uh, Lynn Bowden and you're saying probably saying wait he led his team to a 7-5 regular season record and beating um, Virginia Tech in their bowl game. But here's the thing. I think um, Lynn Bowden is the best athlete that plays quarterback. He played the wide receiver last year, if I'm not wrong. And he likes to scramble a lot, very fast quarterback. Again, like one of the best athletes uh, as quarterback in the SEC, if not the best. So um, he has that part, um, but it's just not his natural position. So that's why I put him at the bottom. Moving on at number 13, Nick Starkle from Arkansas. Um, very disappointing season for Arkansas. A uh, lot of people probably saw it coming. So I put him at number 13, and he is above Lynn Bowden again because he's that is his natural position. Next is Matt Coral from Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss going 5 and 7, just missing out on their bowl game. They had to beat Mississippi State, but missed their extra point. And costs in the game. Um, I think he's one of the decent quarterbacks. Passed for 1,300 yards. So he is somewhat of a good quarterback. But not the above average. Next up on the list we have Tommy Stevens from Mississippi State. Um, passed for 1,100 yards. Um, pretty decent quarterback I believe. He played as a backup quarterback. But came in for their starter because he got injured. So... Mississippi State fans, if I got that wrong, feel free to comment down below about that. Um, I, I believe he was a backup for a long time, so he did okay for a backup quarterback. Next up at number 9, we have Jarrett Garantano from Tennessee. Just passed above 2,000 yards. Um, he kind of earned his way to this spot because he was kind of a little bit of a disappointed uh, earlier in the season, but later in the season, he kind of showed what he is capable of and they had to adjust the system and all that so Jerry Garantano not really one of the best quarterbacks but not the worst on this list moving on to number eight we have Ryan Helensky from South Carolina um he is one of the decent quarterbacks um I believe he is part of the above averages so I believe he is an okay quarterback again um and leading the South Carolina team but he missed out on a bowl game. Did upset a couple teams, though. So he had that part of it down. He just didn't have a good team around him, is what I believe. Number seven, we have Kelly Bryant from Missouri. Um, I believe he was a good quarterback. Uh, he, I believe he did get injured in the middle of the season, but came back eventually. So um, that kind of brought him down a little bit. And I might be wrong about the injury, but I believe that did happen. He came back eventually. So I think he would have been more better if he didn't get injured and build up his stats a little bit more, but that's not what I see. Next up at number six, we have Bo Nix from Auburn, uh, leading this team to go nine and three, I believe it was, and beat Alabama. Um, and I think he had a pretty good season, so that's why he's on number six. Next up at number five, we have Kellen Mon. Uh, from A&M so I think he was a very good quarterback I think he can do well if he goes to the NFL and I think he is but I might be wrong because I don't know but he is a pretty good quarterback leading his team to be pretty good so I have him at number five next up at number four is Kyle Trask very impressive season for this quarterback uh, taking over for Felipe Franks when he got injured in that Kentucky game and uh, he probably would have been a little bit higher, but I do think he had a lot of weapons around him from like that tight end. So that was like his number one target. Kyle Trask is a pretty good quarterback in my thought, and I think he'll have a good career ahead of him because he already has a year's worth of experience. And that's kind of the thing about early predictions that are so hard is you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, you can expect a team to do bad because he's losing their quarterback, but he winds up getting injured. And then something like this happens, and then Florida winds up being good for another three years. 
So that's the thing you have to be careful about predictions. Number three, we have Jake Fromm from Georgia. Um, pretty impressive season led to the SEC championship, but did lose LSU. Um, he is very good at check downs. And he is one of the best quarterbacks in college football. I don't think he's the best, but one of them, certainly. All right, number two, we have Tua Tagovailoa. Um, he is a very good quarterback, but he did get injured. And that's the thing he does struggle with is injury. Um, and I know I kind of brought T Kelly Bryant a little bit down because of his injury. Injury, yeah, but um, Tua Tagovailoa. I just believe he just still is good enough to be at number two. But when he gets to the NFL, that's what I think he's going to struggle with most is his injuries. Finally, at number one, we have Joe Burrow. Not really unexpected uh, to a lot of people. Very, very impressive season. Um, it was just outstanding. 5,671 passing yards. And if you look at it, the passing yard rankings... He is almost 3,000 yards better than the uh, second best quarterback, which I believe is Kellen Mon from AM. So <laughs> it's just outstanding winning the Heisman National Championship. He did a lot of amazing stuff this season, and it's going to be exciting to see what he can do in the NFL. And um, that's all for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.